Cool, what's up guys? Justin here with the ZGEssentials.com back with another Blender add-on video for you. So in today's video we're going to check out a new add-on that gives you previews of materials when you use nodes inside a Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so this add-on is called Node Preview and basically what it does is it gives you a preview image inside of your node editor of what each one of your materials or nodes is going to do to your objects. So if you look at these, for example, and we look at, let's say we looked at a normal map for this material that I brought in here. So if we look at this normal map that I have in here, you can see how this gives us an image of exactly what that map is going to look like. And so what that does is that allows us to really kind of dial in the way that we're editing these. By the way, I will link to this in the notes down below. It is an affiliate link, um, but you, if you are interested, you can check that out in the notes below. But basically the way that this works is notice how if I was to come in here, for example, and change this like invert node right here, you can see how this is going to show me exactly what that's going to do to a material inside of my model. And so the way that it works is if you install it, so if you download the file and install it um, inside of your preferences, it's going to give you an option over here for node preview. And what you can do is you can check this box in order to enable it and you can set a few different things. So one of the things first off is um, there's a box in here that allows you to set if your previews are going to be visible by default. Right, So um, that means that if you don't want these turning on unless you absolutely need them, you can uncheck this box right here. And then you can also set your thumbnail scale in here. So if I was to adjust the size, for example, you can see how what this is gonna do. So this is going to adjust the size of those thumbnails as well as the resolution of the thumbnail. So I would imagine that increasing the thumbnail resolution is going to affect your performance. So just be aware of that when you're making the change in here. So I probably wouldn't go super high on this. I might stay at like 128 or 100 or something like that unless you really need something more detailed. And so what's really important on this is the note down below, which is um, that you can toggle these on and off with control shift P. So if you don't want all of these in here and you just want to be able to basically preview something, you can come in here and you can just set this or you can do a control shift P on your keyboard in order to turn this on and off. So that's a great keyboard shortcut that's going to allow you to toggle these in here so that you can see them without really cluttering up your viewport. All right, so let's say we did a very simple texture setup like this one that just has textual coordinates and mapping and then just a color and then a principled BSDF. So first of all, if you look at this, these node previews are going to give you an idea of what the texture coordinates are going to look like. So for example, notice how this is adjusting in real time as I adjust these settings. So if I put these all to five, notice how my texture coordinate preview is going to update with that as well um, as I change the size over here. In addition, my principled BSDF shader is going to adjust as as I make changes. So if I crank this roughness up, for example, like this, and I turn my specular down, notice how that's also adjusting inside of my image preview right here. So you can use this in order to make adjustments down here and actually kind of see what this is going to look like. Um, you'd probably want to think about maybe turning your thumbnail resolution up a little bit. So you can use this in order to preview what that's going to look like. And so, for example, let's say that I was to add, we'll go with an invert node again. So I'm just going to put an invert node over here. And then I don't really care which one of these I plug this into. Maybe I'll just plug it into my normal. Um, but you can see how this will actually show you what the invert node is doing to this map. So if you do want something where you can visualize that, this add-on could be a great thing for you. All right, so I will also link to some other tutorials about setting up materials on this page as well. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.